Choose your attire, sire. Good evening, boys and girls, ladies, hmm, and a gentleman. Turn the lights down low and shut your faces as I wrap you in the cozy blanket of a story. A story as heartwarming and soft as a mother's kiss. Or is it? Shh. Once upon a time, there was a boat. Now, this wasn't just any boat, children. It was a ship. A ship full of friends. Hundreds of friends. Best friends, one and all. A veritable friendship it was. Get it? But it wouldn't be very ladylike of me if I didn't mention the most noteworthy friend on board. Hattie Hattington. Say hi to Hattie. Hattie was like king friend of Friendship Kingdom. Best friend to one and all, and the walking definition of handsome gentlemen. Now, one fine morning, Hattie and Pal set out for a new, exciting adventure. What fantastic... Fantastic wonders would they discover this time? Perhaps they'd come across a scary ghost ship. Perhaps they'd find an island made entirely of candy. Perhaps they'd meet a band of scary, swashbuckling pirates and join forces to find an island made entirely of candy. Who knew? But it didn't matter. So long as they were together, there were smiles to be had and adventures to be shared. Now today, twas a day like any other adventure day. Spirits were uncrushably high, everyone was singing and dancing and having a jolly time. When suddenly the ocean was all like surprise. Surprise! And a huge, massive storm brewed out of nowhere. Boy, that was quick. And there was thunder. Boom! And the lightning. Boom! And the wind. Boom! And like that, it was over. Is everyone okay? Said Hattie. I don't know what I'd do if I lost even one of you. Hattie continued. But the eye of the storm is very misleading, children. Never turn your back on it because the ocean was all like, psych! And it came back even bigger this time. Twice as big. As if Poseidon himself extended his hand in friendship and they spat in his mouth. Boy, he was pissed. He was mad. And the rain came down like a shower of bullets. It's off. Ah! And the floorboards were buckling and creaking and breaking and pieces of their ship were raining down like shards of broken dreams. And then Reginald comes upstairs and he's all like, I say, gentlemen, I do believe we're in quite a spot of bother. And everyone else was like, really? What tipped you off, genius? And then Hattie was all like, hey, be nice. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Huge giant waves thrashed the boat to and fro. Fro and to. Carelessly sprinkling friend after friend into the cold, unforgiving abyss of the deep dark ocean. Everyone was screaming like, help me! Splash! Splash! And there was this huge whale like, and made it super scary. And I think there was a shark. Yep, there he is. Oh, God. And then Hattie was all like, hold on to your butts. Land ho! And bang, bang, bang! Smash! A shipwreck as foretold by their fate books of fate. And while it seems like the end, this is merely the beginning of another fantastic journey for the brave crew of the SS Friendship. What a strange, mysterious island. And what's this? The shore is riddled with little friend-sized footprints. I guess the tide brought them to land. How utterly convenient. But where have they gotten to? Who knows? I don't. Do you? I don't. Do you? I don't. Do you welcome? Hmm. Maybe our friends came in here to take shelter from the rain. That's smart. But geez, what a gloomy place. Ever heard of spring cleaning? That's not good. Happy day! It's Hattie! And look, he's made some wonderful new friends! Ooh, and they got him a present! How thoughtful! Hey, wait a second, I don't think that was a present. Ha! Huh. Those guys aren't wonderful new friends, are they? Just stay hidden and keep quiet. They haven't seen you yet. Oh no, they see you! Clench your butt, this isn't gonna be good! Ah! Yep, that wasn't good. That wasn't good at all.
Oh, the disrespect! Shall we find some sparkly gems? Don't forget, you can't swim!
Our next stop, Rich Town. Have your ticket ready. Spicy little fart! 